don't usually do much. Wildlife photography. But I've heard a lot about these red squirrels, so I thought I'll have a bit of that. And obviously I'm restricted to the single lens at the moment, which is the 40 to 150, which with the 1.4 converters takes me to a maximum reach of 420. It's an ideal length for squirrels. A lot of uh, trees blown down around here. Hope I'm going in the right way. So I'm not actually sure I'm going in the right direction. Let's find if I am. See you soon. So we've arrived and I've seen the first red squirrel. They're very fast. So, and they've actually put a, a little runway for them to go on. If we can get some on there, that would be nice to isolate them from the from the background. At the moment, they're all pretty much on the ground. Probably going to shut around f4 for the maximum sharpness, uh, and I'll be on continuous focus tracking. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> Forced wildlife photography in the landscape. Anyway, let's go. See ya. Well, I always thought landscape photography was a bit frustrating. But by heck, that is frustrating. Not in an unpleasant way. But you see a, a scene and the squirrel will run towards that scene you think if it runs up that little that little branch and sits on top of that trunk with the separation and the green that will look amazing and it'll run towards it and you think this is it this is it then it'll get it'll get to the end and it'll go whoosh, turn away oh i've taken more photographs in the last two hours than i have done in the whole of last year i'm on continuous focus tracking silent mode and I must have taken a thousand photographs the thing is you think I've got it I've nailed it and you look at the photograph to, to review it and you miss its tail or well, there's a bit of camera movement but once they get used to you being here they come right close to you we've got all manner of birds as well I think they're the both finches, some kind of finches, birds, things. We're all. Nope. Is that still filming? So they're all, again, you can see a couple there. A couple of finches scrapping. Then in the background. Finches in the tree. Again, we're right in front of the Lynn. And that's kind of where it pops up. So they're eating the odd bit of nut and squirrelling away. Gaffar. There are the others. And with the birds, if you get them on top of the, of just there, on top of the uh, trunk, you can really isolate them in the background. I'd say once you sit still, I'd say once they get used to being here, well, it started raining. Once you get used to being here, they really are apt to come out and see you. I think we've seen all told one, two, three. I'll probably say about five individual squirrels and about oh, they haven't. <laughs> when they fight, it's so cute. We could probably rip each other apart, but. I said, oh, full 360, they can come, they go right around here. And there are some, as I mentioned, some little runways up there. We've seen none on there. Oh, it's peeing down. Yeah, I think I'll be doing more. Nature photography. What I'd like to do, I'd like to get my camera tripod set up and the camera on it, pre-focus on a lock and just wait for as long as it takes. You have to be disciplined and you have to be patient. 
and I'll have to develop that if I go further with yeah, I've met a nice couple from uh, the Optic Camera Club which uh, I'm going to nip over and have a look 36 members, very friendly yeah this has been a very enjoyable day I'm glad I broke my lens I should get a price for repair this week so the lens cost about 900, 850, 900 quid and I'm hoping it's not going to be 50% of the cost of the lens because you can get them used for about 400 so do I get it repaired or do I uh, go for another one how cool are they anyway they are so cool unfortunately with the light being quite cold the colours the reds aren't popping as much as they would otherwise do but coming back here some nice warm sunrise light would be awesome Anyway, I'll sign off for there. God, there's loads of them. I think once I get used to you. Oh, and he's got one about three inches away from me. Oh, he's sniffing around. Oh. If only he had a camera. It's actually... I should be taking pictures of this, shouldn't I? See ya.